Hi everyone, welcome to the recording of uh, our gaming session today with uh, me and Darthius uh, on Space Engineers. Hopefully you can hear me a bit better, I've got my uh, mic a bit closer now. Hello everybody, how are you doing today? So we have a new APC just that we're working on, uh, with Darthius's baby. And uh, we need to raise it up a couple of blocks. So uh, Darthius' plan is uh, to put some pistons underneath and raise it up slowly. We have tried this once before and had some rather unusual results uh, yesterday. Uh, we may or may not get the it same was, uh... results. Yeah, it was, it was very fun. Let's go get it. So this is the APC. If you have uh, been following the series for the last few episodes, you probably would have uh, recognized it a little bit. Now you can see underneath here that Darth has set up uh, the pistons with uh, single wheels. Uh, at the end to provide a cushioning effect I assume okay are we ready for launch well it looks like the grid is is the grid actually attached to the ground here or is that just oh, I can't quite see underneath No, just a uh, landing gear. Okay, is the landing gear is still locked, uh, as far as I can see? Yeah, I'm in the uh, the cockpit. I can unlock it as soon as I uh, start moving the pistons. I have movement. Yeah, it looks like it's working perfectly today. Fantastic. You're at full extension. I think the problem yesterday might have been that landing gear, that it uh, didn't attach properly uh, in time and suddenly it was fighting the pistons. Yeah, it's, um, it's showing that it hasn't moved for me. If it's, uh, if it's fully extended, could you uh, lock it down for me? Sure. Uh, I don't. I don't trust me doing anything to it at the moment with me uh, not seeing the same thing as you. Wait, is there only a one block gap? Yeah, it looks like maybe it is. Or is it too? I'm having a bit of trouble getting the second block underneath. It looks like it might be either very tight or I it isn't think, enough. Uh, I think we need to uh, add some more pistons. I don't think these are strong enough to... Because it's bouncing up and down like that. It shouldn't be doing that. It's completely stable for me. Uh, I don't know. Are they fully extended? Because they don't look fully extended for me. Yeah, I see uh, all three sections are visible, and the base section. Well, I mean, I can see all three sections too, but it should be higher than uh, one block. Should have been at least three.
Well, that was odd. We just had a sudden shift when I placed that block. Um, I got in the cockpit. That might have been it. Looks like I can get that second block in. I just needed to turn upside down. Cool. I don't think this is going to be high enough, though. Okay, are you ready for me to uh, lower it? Yeah, it should be fine now. I haven't actually made the blocks. Does it matter if I haven't actually built the blocks? Or should we actually build them before we lower it? No, it shouldn't, but um, if you want, go ahead and build them. All right, is it I light will. armor or heavy? I think I did light. Okay, that's perfect. Let me know when you think it's good. I think we're good. We're clear. Perfect. Damn elite grinders. It's your fault, you did it. I was gonna do it, but I mean, you, uh, you just had to. I'm just kidding. So, um, one of my thoughts recently was to, um, kind of suck it up and just put them on the outside and just overlay them with light armor. But I really don't want to do that because it's so ugly. I'm gonna grab some supplies. Be right back. It's a shame. Um, there's there's no way to actually fit them in. I mean, I can fit one large one in that area, or maybe two. Uh, on each side, but I need the large ones for weight purposes and clearance. So I could fit um, four small ones in each uh, block area for the wheels. But what I'm trying to do is get uh, two large wheels in the front on either side, and then two on the back on either side. So that there's a total of eight in the front and eight in the rear. Okay. But, um, it, I might have to do like a, uh, an extension out in this area to make it work because if we do it with the, um, the large suspension and stuff, it's going to be one block thick uh, section in the center, and I don't think we want to do that. 
Sure. I mean, there's no way you can just do it with single um, wheel and suspension in each section, like using a large one. Just not enough room. I mean, we can put one wheel in there. We can put one one tire in, and that's it. And that's not going to be enough to support this this Hulk of a thing. So that's why I wanted to raise it up and um, try and figure out a way to uh, to work around it. You know. Sure. Um. The only time I ever had a weight problem was uh, I was made a um, mobile refinery, like mobile base kind of thing, and it was made of heavy armor, and I couldn't get it to move. It was uh, too underpowered to move with all the weight it had, but it didn't actually collapse under the weight of, you know, the wheels didn't collapse or anything because of the weight of it. It was just that I didn't have enough power in my power plants to make it move. Yeah. It's funny, when you first logged in, I could see your medieval engineer's armor perfectly, and now you've just gone back to white. And, of course, all of my... Yeah, I don't understand that. I mean, it's their skin that uh, Keen made it themselves for people who have medieval engineers for supporting the other game development and stuff, right? Then shouldn't it work perfectly? Like, your armor is perfectly loaded in for me. Yeah, right. And mine is this for is me, but the case. since you're the host, you should... You I mean, know, I, should I don't have understand. The, um, yeah, I should have a different uh, grinder and I should have a different... Let me check the drill. Yeah, some of them are loading in. Like I'm getting the rainbow skin on my drill. And on the rifle, it sort of pops in after a, a moment. Okay, so the yellow line is the center of the vessel. Okay. So should we use heavy armor for the uh, the drive shaft area, or should we use light armor? Depends if you think we're going to run over landmines or not. Light armor it is. There's something you should uh, know as well. I don't know if I've, I've told you this before or you, do, or you know yourself already, but um, blast door armor, like the blast door blocks, don't deform when they get damaged the way normal blocks do. You know how like uh, when a block, one of these armor blocks gets damaged, it kind of gets all bent up and twisted? Um, that doesn't yeah. happen with the blast door blocks, so you can make structural things out of them that, you know, will stay the right shape until, you know, they're destroyed. Then but let's they're, do that. Yeah, they're a little bit tricky to use because they don't uh, always, there's always like one edge at least where they don't connect to the block next to them. Usually two. So you have to use them sparingly, but we I just thought you uh, might want to keep it in mind. We could do tank tracks. We can do tank I, tracks I if did. you want, mate. I know you want to do tank tracks. You can do I, tank tracks if you want to. I found the old blueprint. It was in a different file save somewhere else. 
when we were going through my computer the other day, I forgot to tell you about that. So I have my tank track design again. Cool. Actually, you know, I can see your skull grinder, but I, I'm still only seeing white for your suit. Very strange. Sun's coming up too, which is weird. Yay, daylight! What I should so, be doing... Um, Go on. I'm going to set up a small projector really quick to uh, show you my uh, tank track design. Uh, what were you saying? Oh, I was just saying I should probably take the grinder ship out to the tank and grind down that installation out there and load up the junk into the tank. Maybe get, uh, you know, grind down one of the other ones as well that we're not keeping while you work on the APC at base uh, if you want. Or I have something um, else. I have the out, uh, observation outpost that needs power. Uh, I have that GPS if you need it. I think I've got that one too. It's the one where I'm... needs is misspelled niece, isn't it? It just needs uh, power cells for the batteries, and then it's other than that, it's perfectly fine. Okay. I may move the tank and park it there or something. Because, you know, the tank, of okay. course, has the assembler and a refinery built into it. Does it have a refinery? I'm trying to think. Yeah. Yeah, it does. No, I don't think it does. No. Alright, I'm going to build that projector really quick, and then uh, we'll. if you, you sure? can grab the welding ship, that would help me. Yeah, no worries. This is our new super steep stairs that I installed here, uh, just to save a bit of hydrogen. I removed a couple of the spotlights as well. They were, uh, you know, shining right in our faces a lot. Alright, I am in the welder. Here you go. Um, uh, I think it, it broke because it uses the old rotors. Sure, it's not just set to show only buildable. 
Yeah, I just checked that. It's not. I think it, it's the it's borked. It's a bit annoying. Do you remember the principles involved? Do you think you could recreate? Yeah, the two saves I have for it are borked. Yeah, I know, I remember how to do it. Um. I'm going to try something else and see if it's not just these. Oh my god. I um I went into uh control to switch off the lights in the base and uh hit F to exit out of it. Uh not realizing that wasn't a great idea and I jumped out of the cockpit and uh died. I'm falling. Isn't that good? Rip. Yeah, I, I've done that, I think, three or four times now. I mean, it built this, so, or shows in this, so I don't know. So, is that one working? Well, this isn't my design, but it's pre-update, so I don't know. Uh, it doesn't have any rudders or anything in it, unfortunately. So I can't really tell if it's that or not. I'll leave this here for now, and I'll leave it off, and we can use it whenever we need to. Sure. Sound like a good plan? Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, sorry. All right. All right um, I'm gonna go build the uh, the wheel design, and then maybe we can figure the track design, and we can figure out um, how to actually do it you know if you're interested sure yeah first though I'm going to fix this to where I don't almost walk off the stairs and fall to my death I did color the With block no at the top just so that you could um, you would know where it was you know as a safety feature. yeah it's it it's just me and the desync is it's kind of bad because I was standing in the middle of the block and then when I, as soon as I stepped forward, I was almost falling off the right side. So I don't know. I was just going to do some uh, catwalk stuff. Oh, fair enough, mate. Whatever you would like to do. I mean, if you think you can make it safer, that's excellent. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to leave that for another time, man. One project at a time. I mean, you could easily put, say, uh, a wall of half blocks on either side. You know, that sort of narrowed it in so that you couldn't fall off to either side. So you want to know something funny? What's that, mate? We're out of interior plates for the first time. Wow, okay, I'll order some up. 
Oh, I was gonna do it, but I was just I just thought it was funny. Unless they're all do you in have any the, uh, inside the um They could hook you in the welding ship, I did move a bunch of stuff into it. Okay. Six hundred and sixty six. Funny that. Do you want me to bring you some? I always forget you can't be heard on voice chat when you're in the inventory. I did it again. Uh, there's about uh, 600 in the um, welding ship and I've got some on me too. Do you want me to bring them to you? I've got it switched so you uh, it doesn't weld unless you press the trigger. I need to fix those thrusters on the mining ship too. I painted them red to show which ones were damaged. Have uh, have any of the things that you fixed uh, broken again? Not that I've seen, no. Because I fixed up the... I think there was damage to your reactor on the miner as well, and another block. Uh, one of the spotlights was damaged, and I've repaired both of those, and they seem to have stayed repaired. Huh, I don't know. I'm... Yeah, like I said, I'm going to stay away from flying for a while. Well, that worked. I think I've got what I need to fix those up. And I should grab some bits and pieces to finish off those solar panels before the sun comes up. So I might do my uh, tank track design out of uh, blast doors, since they don't deform. I think that would be a little bit better. Yeah, I recommend having a look at all the different block shapes because um, you'll have to plan around the the, sh the way that they uh, have to connect to each other. I think the side ones. Well, the middle ones don't connect on. I think I just side. need um. I just need the uh the door edge and the block itself. I think should be good. If anything, I just add heavy armor into the center to uh kind of have an attach point. Sounds good.
Oh, that's good. I've already done them. All the uh, solar panels up here. Maybe I should be adding some to the base to save power as well. Another project for Yeah, later. that sounds like a good idea. You could put them on the, uh, the sides of that tower that you built. Yeah. I think that would be a good way to cover up the uh, bad, uh, conveyors. I'll run uh, a layer of them down the, uh, what is that, that would have to be the eastern side because it's where the sun's coming. I'm not even going to ask how that was floating in the air and still connected, but I'm going to just keep going. I'm going to look past it. It didn't happen. What happened? I grinded one of the wrong blocks, and it stayed floating, hovering in the air, as if it was still connected. And when I put the blocks down, it acted like it was already connected. So, whatever, it's staying... Yeah, I'm having yeah. no complaints here. I guess. It's probably that unsupported stations um, <laughs> thing that we have on. This is weird. I'm going to have to do this by hand, damn it. Um, I don't know. I, uh. It's a small ship design. It shouldn't be a station. I know, it's a bit strange. There we go, that should be all the repairs for the small miner done. And it now has a camera on the left and right side at the front. Don't know how much you'll be able to see, but uh, you will actually be able to see. Oh, I see what you meant about uh, connection points. You can't put something on the edge of it, but you can put something on the bottom. Yep. Easy fix.
night I've laid down a stack of uh, solar cells for the side of the tower. Uh, now will be the question of actually building them all. I'd better order up some solar cells for them. I don't know if we need all of them. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to see whether the ones I've placed on what I'm normally calling the south side actually get very much sun. I think if we put some on the uh, the sides, and even if it just hits for a little bit, it's still more than not getting any at all. Yeah, and I think one of the main components is silicon for the solar cells, and it's not like we're running out of silicon. Ever. Would you, um, when you get a second, mind welding up my little, uh, building contraption down there? What would you like me to do? If you could, could you, uh, weld this up for me? Oh, sure. Coming down right now. Thank you, sir. It's interesting, I think I bumped the end of the rotor and it moved like it rotated around. It doesn't have power. I was just impressed that the physics worked. Oh yeah, the physics work. I think they work too well. But that's just me. Yeah, the problem now is fixing the rotor that you moved.
Sorry to go a bit quiet there. I was just uh, filling up the welder with some components for the solar cells and various other bits and pieces. Oh, I don't mind. I've been uh, contemplating, do you think this might work? Uh, best you come and look and see what I got so far. So my original design was um, the section uh, from the rotor over. Um, I like the idea of having something on both sides to protect the uh, rotor. So I did this T-shaped section over here. But I'm thinking it's not actually um, going to work because if something hits the rotor, it's going to break it. But I don't know. What do you think? I'm finding it hard to follow what you mean. Um, I'm just going to defer to your better judgment when it comes to this sort of stuff. I don't have much experience with rotors. And I'm not quite I'm just, sure if one what of the... you're actually trying to do, so it makes it really extra hard. I mean, I know you're trying to make a tank track, but I, I really don't understand how you're putting it together. And I probably won't till I see it. Alright, um, the section I'm standing on is the foot section, and then this section connected to the two rotors is called the, uh, the arm connection. So, uh, each arm connection connects to, uh, two foot sections, if that makes sense. And the I arm so. connection is actually the part that moves. I'm just worried about if something hits one of the rotors, the whole wheel, uh, basically, it just unravels like a broken chain on a bicycle player. Yeah, but isn't that the drawback of a tank track anyway? You're just going to have to protect yeah, that part of it. That's why I'm thinking I might have to redesign this really quick. I don't know. It, it's just a thought. We don't even have to do this. I'm just... No, I think it's I good, know. man. No, you should be creative. You should try it. You should experiment and try it. Absolutely. Take as much time as you want over this. It's not like we're in a hurry to do something. You you know, go for it. I thought we might uh, take a trip up to space later. But, you know, um, we've got to do our, our chores first. This is what I meant by it floating. There's no block in the middle of these. But it's still. Yeah, it'll be the unsupported station setting. Okay, so, derpiness, got it. What derpiness is that? Things floating that shouldn't be floating. Well, with that one I'm not too worried because I don't think that is a bug, I think that's a feature. That's definitely a setting, so I don't think we have to worry about that one.
Alright, I'm gonna AFK in the control chair, and I'll be right back. No worries, mate. I think I should put these solar cells around the other way now because they're going to block the first row. Better make sure I'm getting the power and recharging those batteries. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Just powering off the thrusters on this beast before I uh, switch it back on. Though I am showing that it's already off. It's a bit strange. That it is already on, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I just had to grab my, uh, my medicine. Fair enough. Oh, that's a lot better. We're getting 73 days on uh, battery time, so that's pretty good. Yeah, it should go up. Sounds like we're already uh, well charged up. Maybe I should go get some mining happening. What do you think? I think uh, we need more power cells. 
More batteries. Oh, okay. I can always order those up. What do you think? Should we uh, make like an internal base battery storage facility underneath? Uh, underneath the base. Yeah. Yeah, no, that sounds good. Um, I think there's some already down there. I, I just have a vague memory of building some down there, but there's probably nowhere near enough. I'm just wondering how we're going to get the welding ship down in there. I guess uh, we can open it up. Isn't it already open up on this side? Yeah, you can get down there through over here. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm guessing somebody crashed at some point and uh, blew this giant hole up. But, but that never happens. Sorry, did you mean over here or at the front? Where I'm at. Might be a bit tight. Seems. Well, I can uh, always mine it out a little bit. If it doesn't fit, then we don't have to worry about it right now. I mean... I don't want to cost the... Well, I, I think it fits just fine. Yeah, I think you're right. Um... I, is that a battery I'm there? I'm gonna grind the... Uh, uh... Now it's the remote. I will throw a bunch of them on the uh, the edge here. Give me a second to uh, get them out. What do you think? Six good, or should we go with, you know, just a giant sprawl of batteries? Whatever you think is best. It's, again, something you have more experience with than I do. I, you know, you've seen all my designs, hardly any of them have batteries on them. Well, I mean, they're, they're good, especially if we're using solar panels. If we, um... Run out of uranium, it's definitely good to have some batteries until we, uh, get more, but, um, I mean, we're not entirely running off of solar panels. If we have enough to at least stay charged until we get, uh, uranium, we should be good, so this should be fine. Words, lots, speed, yeah. I just, uh, ordered up about... 800 power cells. I'm hoping that's enough to cover it. I don't think I'm even carrying any at the moment. I mean, I'm right next to the um, cargo system. I can grab the power cells. That's not a problem. Let's see what I can do. Copy that. Not a whole lot, it seems. Yeah, it's not doing anything without power cells, it's it. Yeah, 
I could uh, go up and pick some up. I'll do that. I'll go load some up at the connector unless you want to do it by hand. How many can you carry? Is it? Well, you uh, put all the made? parts in them. Yeah, it's just missing the power cells now. There's a hundred and there's a hundred and twenty each, and then um, I think you made just enough because there was a little bit in there. Oh, good. But it's going to take a couple of trips. But, so uh, yeah, what should I, I do? Can do this by hand if needed. Should I go and load them up? Uh, you can go ahead. And uh, it's up to you. If you want to load them up, you can. I mean, I'm not going to tell you to. Would it help you if I did? I sure would. So I'll go and I'll go and grab as many as I can. I think I just stole your paracels. <laughs> Did you take them? I think you might have too. Did you take them out <laughs> of the connector? Like out of the cargo? It doesn't matter, man. If you're finishing quicker than I can load, you might as well take them. I just, uh, I typed in paracel and I took the first thing and then I realized that it was red and I was like, oops. <laughs> no worries. So, can you carry the rest? Do you need me to help at all? Or? I'm basically almost done. If okay, you want cool. to uh, come, you can just fly down here and weld them by hand as I put the parts in if you want. Oh yeah, that was a lot faster. There we go. We probably should put some kind of wall here. Really, I didn't know there was an open space leading right into our base. 
Not that it matters with the wolves off, but uh, you never know. Absolutely. Never know when there's a random drone might just decide to come into orbit and land on our base. Well, that's a bit odd. <laughs> the station says it's only got one day of uh, power left. Oh, it's probably because it's charging those batteries. You know, it couldn't run uh, for very long charging up the batteries at full bore. I think as soon as it uh, charges those up, it'll go back to normal. That and uh, it's got the refineries and assemblers running. And the antenna set on max. Does that use a lot of power? Uh, I think it's like 500 or 5,000 kilowatts or something like that. For the antenna? And it's based on how, what the range is? I mean, it makes sense. I just didn't realize it. Well, you have the... Uh that one in the laser antenna, and we kind of need them both, so I'd leave it as is. I should check the hydrogen supplies in the tug if we're taking a trip to space. Oh yeah, the teleporter mod doesn't work anymore, does it? No, no transporter anymore. Oh, I still have to redesign the cockpit for this. I sort of started doing it and got distracted by something else. That'll be my little job. It shouldn't take me longer than a uh, half an hour. And then we'll be ready to go, I would say. And I better check the, I'll check the ice situation too.
Yeah, all the tanks run about 45% where we left them after we were moving the APC the other day. The sliding doors are behaving a little bit strangely, visually anyway. What are they doing? Well, it's like one of the doors is in the wrong place. It kind of sticks out of uh, like the side that's open. It's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, it's kind of jumping back and forth in position and the other door is showing in the wrong place. Do you see anything like that? Yeah, see I only see one of the nope, doors looks fine closed. For me. Um, Odd. Maybe grind it down and rebuild it? I don't think it's, it's like the you got my lock sake. I think it's some um, you know, I don't think I need to worry about it. It'll probably fix itself. I can still go in and out, so that's fine. Yeah. So I looked around and I didn't see anything online about a suit battery. I mean, if we have O2 tanks and hydrogen tanks, then somebody needs to come up with a mod for a, uh, and 
you know, a rechargeable battery pack that you can carry with you. Yeah, you know that'd be I mean? We're still recording, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Anybody that hears this that is good at money, make that happen. Make it a thing. I'm sure that's all we need to do. What's that? Um just put out the call. Well, I mean, I kind of did. All you got to do is just post the video. Yeah. <laughs> right? And hope that somebody sees it that's good at it. Would you prefer a passenger seat or a seat with controls uh, when we're um, in the tug? Uh, passenger seat's fine. Okay.
elite hydrogen tanks that don't run out uh, so quickly would be good too. Oh, weird. So, um, go ahead. I was just going to say all the doors are doing it now. Just weird. It's not doing it for me. Like I said, if you think that maybe grinding it down and then rebuilding it might fix it. No, I don't think that'll fix it. It's every sliding door block. Yeah. Um... So a block fell on the ground, and I stepped up to grind it, and I guess the latency thing kicked in, and I hit it with my foot, and I stubbed my toe on it, and I died instantly. That's not good. Death by stubbing your toe seems to be over the top. Yeah, I, I just like the new uh, bump physics. It, it's broken. Fix your crap, Keen. Fix your crap. I should just, uh, bite the bullet here and uh, make a hundred hydrogen tanks. We go through them so fast. That is up to you, sir. Yeah, it's done. I don't think there's any oxygen tanks here either. I'll put a couple of those out. I miss Bob. Bob was pretty helpful. I need a connector out here is what I think I need. Yeah, 100 might have been a bit much. I think I stopped after about 30. In like two days, we're going to be like, dang, we should have done the 100. Well, because they filled up the assembler, uh, they've um, all jumped into the hydrogen tank and filled themselves, which is excellent.
Oh, 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 What's going on over there? <laughs> Come and see. Oh yeah, it's very nice. I mean, you can always build out a bit of a sleeve uh, at the bottom to to cover the wheels. Yeah, I was thinking I might have to do that. Maybe a little side skirting or something. I still really want to do the uh, wheels on the outside, but um, or facing inwards. But I think if we just do this, we'll be fine. You what don't do you want think? to try raising them further into the um, body? I did. It, um... You see how there's a notch cut out over here on this side? Yes. In yeah. the wall? I tried going one block higher than where it is now, and it still wouldn't let it build. So if we took damage while we were had it, having it recessed like that, it would not be able to be rebuilt unless we tore out the side of the, the ship. Maybe we could widen the ship slightly, widen the shelf to accommodate it. I mean, it's not going to make could, much difference. Definitely. That should be really easy to do. We just got to add another layer of blocks or two or however many you think we need. Well, the problem is, is we'd have to widen it quite a bit to be able to get... Because the original design idea was to have um, one facing out like that, and then one facing in. But they're a lot bigger than I thought they were. For some reason I was thinking that they were um, one block by two block for the, uh, for the wheel suspension. And it's actually, I think, two blocks by three blocks. Yeah. It's 2 by 2 by 3 and I thought it was 2 by 2 by 1. For some awful reason. But no, I think we should uh we should try it like this first and then see where it goes from there. Yep, for sure. So I need to get some ice for the uh, tug. Do you like to do the driving or do you want me to do it? 
Actually, I already have you covered. Oh, cool. There is ice in the small miner. Oh, excellent. Okay, well, I'll um, connect him up I and take it out. I've foreseen... Yeah, I've foreseen the, uh, the, the need for ice in the future, so... Um, I grabbed a little bit over there. It's not much, but it's some. It's, um... God, I almost killed myself again. Jumping out of the cockpit at a great height with my jetpack off. Yeah, like I said, I, I do that all the time. The uh, the big problem, though, for me is that uh, I I have big fingers and I have a small keyboard. So whenever I'm hitting D, I sometimes hit F. Yeah. Yeah, I know about that one. I mean, because I do it myself, so I know exactly what you mean. Should I park the Vulture in the garage, or any of the other ships? Maybe one of the Vipers? Um, I suggest maybe moving the mining ships over here next to this well actually no uh, moving the mining ships over towards the uh, the door area right over by the sign and maybe moving the fighters over here next to the uh, ramp so we have easy access to them oh I already put and uh, the, the mining vulture. ship I put the mining ship in the garage. It doesn't really matter. I mean, uh, it's probably the one that we're going to loot, be using the least. Probably needs to go into the garage. I just wanted to make some space. It doesn't really matter. There's plenty of room. We don't really need to put anything in there. I just, you know, trying to be tidy. Well, well, uh, since you put that in there, we could uh, we could put these two over by the sign. Um, Kind of like the construction vehicles next to the construction sign, you know? And then have the fighters over next to the stairs for easy access in case of uh, hostiles. 
We don't know. Yeah. Do you have drones or random encounters on? Uh, yeah, that stuff's on. Don't think it affects the planet though at the moment. So, uh, I haven't seen anything, but you never know. I'll um I'll rearrange uh, these as you suggest. I'm, I'm just suggesting and not telling. So uh, I was looking at the Steam page, and apparently Space Engineers isn't the only one that got a lighting overhaul. I think uh, I must be in the grinding ship. I don't seem to be able to take off. Do you have the uh, thrusters on if it's the grinding ship? No, I didn't. There that helps a lot. A, uh, a, the c the command thing on the uh, the console there. It also helps to keep from uh, issues when you're trying to flip after uh, taking on too much weight. But I, uh, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, I just didn't notice the shortcut there.
was just thinking how now there's no energy shields, we've got these little uh, bumps on the back of our vipers that aren't really needed. But uh, it's not a big deal. I stuck some batteries in mine as well, so it is serving a purpose. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can always add them back if, if we get a uh, update for the shields mod. Sure. Or something. Or we have like copies of the old... The uh, we have copies of the old blueprint, so... Yeah. The, uh, the velocity up there in space is definitely going to be suffering. She's lost a lot of modded stuff. Yeah, I am a bit worried about that. We should definitely go check her out uh, soon. I'll just uh, load up with hydrogen. I should have done this already, but I'll connect up now. You uh, you want to come and see my progress when you get connected up? Sure. Trust is making noise now.
Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be a monster. So how are you doing on fuel levels? You know, shutting those uh, motors down 9. also would... Uh, yeah, I will. The, uh, yeah, not feeling very uh, fast, but we're getting there. I think that's because we only have one generator at the moment, don't we? Or do you have a couple on there? Yeah, there's at least one. There's at least one on this, on board. I, yeah, only one though, I think. But there is one on the base as well, which may be helping. Yeah. We, uh, we may have to look at adding a couple more for, uh, refuel purposes. Or maybe a couple larger, uh, supplies of hydrogen. Yeah, it's a shame we can't transfer hydrogen from the tank that we have in the base into the ship, even though it needs four times as much anyway. But certainly we could just add some uh, well, more oxygen uh, generators in there right now. I'm just got to find a spot in the well, system you, there. You could using merge blocks and connectors. Oh, I'm already connected to the base. I was just going to um, put another oxygen generator or two here in our main area. Oh, yeah, go for it. Uh, no, I was saying I've seen a design where you have um, merge blocks on the hydrogen tanks on a refuel facility. And they oh, would see, detach yeah. their empty ones. And then re attach up the new ones. And they would be ran through the connectors. And so it wouldn't mess with anything with the merge, uh, merging of conveyors and whatnot. Sounds like a good idea.
There we go. Three shiny new oxygen generators. With room for more if we feel we need them. Now I just got to stick some uh, ice in them. Well, for some weird reason, it is not showing me the new ones. No, it's just that they changed the name, I think, to O2 slash H2 generator rather than oxygen generator. So I wasn't finding it in the list. But I think the old one's yeah. still called the old name. Um, yeah. Now I forgot what I was going to say. I, uh, I just searched generator anyways, so I guess I didn't notice because of that. I think we're out of ice. I was just going to check how much we've reloaded. Yeah, it's only on 56%. We're going to need to get some more ice. Do you want to do it or should I? Why don't I we can both take our miners out? Yeah, sure. If, if uh, I'll take the small one, you can take the large one. No worries. Oh, lots of worries. Lots of worries. You know how I am with flying. I'm sure it'll be fine. Says the guy with the stable gameplay. Anything we damage we can fix, it's not a problem. Except for my dignity, we can't we can't fix that. Oh, how are the new cameras? Have you tried them yet? I don't know if I shut up shortcuts for it yet. Uh, 
No, I don't see one. Let me uh, let me set up a control panel too, and then we'll see. So I'm gonna set them up on the uh, second taskbar in the cockpit, okay? Sure. They're in weird spots. I figured you just uh, remove the uh, center drill and put them there. Yeah, I, I've had weird things happen when I've tried that before. Little slivers of rock that don't get ground unless you're using right click mode. You're welcome to try it. I just it didn't work very well for me last time I tried doing that. Where should I get my ice from? Oh, I better switch off dumping it. Yeah. Um. I guess you could just uh. Let's go to one of the resource pockets we haven't hit yet with that, so that we can get down further. Sure, almost finished uh, just setting these sorters up. Won't be a sec. So I haven't touched anything and I already have a damaged thruster. Uh, or, uh. Yeah, damaged thruster. So have you got a resource point picked out there? I thought there was one out here that I had been working on before, but I don't see it anywhere. The holes are pretty small when you're flying above them sometimes. Well, that and the ice uh, doesn't show through anymore for the resources since the update. Oh, there's another gold deposit near our base. I found an iron deposit I was working on before. I think this would be a good spot to dig. Always need more iron. I'll just pick a spot. Oh, do you have your broadcasting on? No, it wasn't. Now it is. Couldn't you hear me? Yeah, I could hear you. I just wanted to see what you were seeing for uh, resources. Where do you suggest I put down? Uh, just over here. There's a big iron deposit down here, and I think it would be good to uncover that for later. Above where you are now, or...? Just this general area, you should uh, pretty much hit this patch of iron either way. Oh, explosions, explosions. Well, that's weird. I'm not hearing anything. Is it your ship or? The freaking reactor just blew up for no reason. That is really strange. Because I repaired that damn thing.
the uh, the game was derping out for me. It showed me pointing towards the sky, and then I was back, you know, level where I was, and I heard the explosion. I don't know if maybe the game was latency thought, issues or what. Maybe it thought you hit the ground. It's very strange. I mean, it can still fly with well, just the uh, the one. It's just I won't be able to mine much. Oh, it's on the side with that damaged thruster. Maybe that's got something to deal with it. The thrusters being damaged and all that. Yeah, it could be. Are you clear? Yeah, I'm clear. I'm gonna power down. I'll just uh, fly around and help you. All right, come a little bit towards me. Is that forwards and backwards? Yes. Alright, go to your left. Alright. Now forwards a bit. A little bit more. Alright, you should be good to dig. I'm clear. Nom 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 nom. Are you wanting to go all the way down to the iron deposit? I might as well. Okay. So, um, another thing I forgot to mention to you before was that I seen a, uh, a thing where they were talking about the wheels uh, breaking on aircraft that are used for mining underground. Uh, similar to what you do. Yeah. And uh, somebody from Keen suggested using rotors and wheels. Yeah, so it's seen as a separate grid. Kind of makes sense. You're hitting iron? Alright, I think you got all the iron in that section. Okay, I'm coming up. Alright, remember to do the uh, right click on the way up so that you can uh, get out easier. Yeah, I don't want to damage the uh, the rest of the iron until I'm a bit higher. Okay. I'll let you know when you're clear of it. Alright, you're clear of the iron. Yeah, you're coming up on an angle, so it's best to do that. Man, that is awesome. 
does look pretty cool. Did we get all the iron we wanted? Future ba Future base builder is what that is. I mean, this is perfect for like a missile. Uh, yeah, I'm good with iron. Um, are we good on ice? How much ice did we get? About uh, 5.3 oh, thousand turn tons. Turn on the sorter. Get rid of the uh, the rocks. I will. I'll just move aside so I don't kill you. Oh, I'm already clear. I, I was I was running before I even said that. There we go. Started dumping. I'll check how much she's got to dump. I only see one dumping. Check and see if your uh, other ones are active. There they go. That should be all of them. I, I, I would not want to be in that pit right now. It's acting like a funnel. Funneling everything into the center. It's actually pretty cool to watch. Are you seeing it? Yeah, I sort of from above. You know what we could do? Make a giant version of asteroids with that. That'd be pretty funny. Have to fly around down there with your jetpack, avoiding all the uh, incoming debris, shooting everything with guns. We could use those rockets from the Star Wars mod. I don't know. No, it sounds good. I was just checking uh, how where we were. It looks like we're almost empty of stone, and we are now empty of stone. I better switch it off though before cool. I connect to the base, or it starts dumping the stone in the base. What little we have left after the last time. That and you were dumping ice last time, which might be we the reason why we're out this time. Yeah, but it only ran for about a second before I switched it off last time. It shouldn't have been able to dump that much. I, I picked up 30,000 off the ground from what I could see, so I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm heading for home. I'm right behind you. I'm probably not going to go very fast because of the mass. Oh, look, I've got some damage too. Yeah, something I was going to suggest to you was doing some drills facing towards the sides. Like, uh, what do, you, what do you call it? Yeah, no, I understand what you mean. It's a good idea. And so everybody can see, this is the reason why I don't fly anymore. Why is that? Because things go wrong every time I get in the cockpit.
I think you're too hard on yourself. Oh no, I'm not hard on myself at all. I'm just being honest. I might have a problem here. What's that? Oh, I think I'll just approach uh, a different connector to the one I was going to use. Are you going to use the one on the end again? It's hard to explain. You are smoking. You are smoking, Yeah, I know, sir. yeah. Hold still. It's okay, it's the two left hand engines, they're still operating. This one doesn't say it's functional. Oh, okay. Well, it's not affecting me yet. I was going to fix it after I docked. Okay, you're clear. I was making sure there wasn't debris anywhere. Down about half a block. Ta da! There we are. Lock okay. her up, Captain. Lock her up. It should start sucking the ice out, but I'll give it a hand. Yay. The tug is at 59%. There we go. Uh, it grabbed, uh, it filled all of the oxygen generators automatically, which was fantastic. And I've loaded half of the ice we collected in, which is about uh, 2,000, 2,000 tons, I think. 3,000 tons. Nice. All right, I'll park this beast.
Make sure that Tug has a, a full load of ice before we leave, too, because we need to bring some up to the base up there. Yeah, no, that's what I did. I loaded 2,000 tons into the tug. I forgot to unload the iron in this, but I can always get that later. We've got about 1,600 tons of iron ore, I think. It may use a lot of uranium to get off the ground, this thing, but when it goes, it you know, grabs enormous amounts in one hit. I mean, we could call it the Mining Beast if you want, instead of the Mole Rat. Do you think that's a better name? Yes, I think it's a very appropriate name. To be honest, when I first came up with the idea for the uh, mole rat, I was thinking of the, uh, the TV show Avatar. The uh, last airbender, I think it was. Oh, okay, they yeah. Have, uh, they have the giant mole rats in there. There we are, nicely locked. I'll just check what the batteries are doing and see if I need to leave it on. Yeah, batteries are all still full. I probably don't need to leave uh, these unit on at all. I'll switch it off completely. Yay, no disaster. Boom. Don't do that. Frighten me. I should, uh... I should get my stereo hooked up one of these days and uh, record an explosion into the mic. I think that would be perfect. I think that would be mean. I'm just evil like that. So I've got to go grab my pizza in about 10 minutes, but uh, I can certainly still I know you're, you're right probably in. just rolling your eyes right about now. No, no, it's cool. So if you don't mind, I'll have to go AFK for a minute or two, but then we'll do our trip to space for, to finish off today, if that's all right with you. You know, we could probably actually leave in just a moment. And you're not hearing anything I'm saying. Because I was talking in the inventory again. I was just going to say we'll be able to leave in just a moment. Cool. So I just noticed something. Yep. On the grinder... The grinder blade says Space Engineers and then SE. Yeah. And it's got the little guy with the high five thing. Yeah. I've got the Elite one so it may look slightly different. Anyway, if you want to join me up in uh, the tug where I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I'm just looking at the grinder blade. It's got all kinds of different stuff. <laughs> it has a barcode. 
and like safety instructions and the dimensions for the actual cutting blade that's awesome very well done yeah no they've done a good job just uh do me a favor what's that since i'm right behind you don't fart I i'll try not to we're, we're going to be depressurized anyway so you shouldn't have to worry. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me to switch the engines on before I detached, because th that is a pretty important one too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Wifey well, told me not to make stupid jokes anymore while we're recording. No, I never said anything like that. Uh, ready? I'm as ready as ready can be. Don't think there's anything above us, as far as I can remember. Okay, yeah, I'm building a missile when we uh, when we come back to base down here. It's happening. A missile sounds like fun. Or a big, you know, NASA style rocket. No, that's what I was talking about. Oh, cool. With an underground launch facility? I mean, there? that's. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Okay, a new plan for the future. But, uh, I mean, Vector was pretty much a, a real legit spaceship, or s space shuttle. Although it only made one trip up, it never came back. She was a good ship. Yeah, she was. So, I forgot to grab some O2 tanks. Did There's some in the any? cargo. Okay. Just wait, I'll put the dampers on, I'll just oh, stabilize you... our speed and you should be able to get no, out. No, no, go, go, go. Uh, I'm just making go. sure I got some too. I think I got enough. I grabbed one, there's one more in there just in case. There should be about 20. Oh, I can see the atmosphere line. But don't get up and check because you'll fall out. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. there are. There's definitely 20 in there. I love how even though we're going up and using the, the hydro thrusters, the hydrogen is actually going up faster than we're using it at this rate. Yeah, because I got that full load of ice. I probably could just run the, th the thrusters the whole time, but it just seems wasteful to me when, you know, you can't go faster than 100 meters a second. Yeah. I think you're doing the right thing. I think we're about at the point where you don't really have to thrust that hard anymore, to be honest. No, it's less and we less just... often I need to thrust. 0.49 G, so... Well, I was saying we just got the space sound, so you must be in space now. Planet looks good. I really do want to go to... Yeah. I really do want to go to one of the uh, higher moons on the, uh, I'm sorry, higher mountains on one of the moons, or maybe the highest mountain on the Earth planet, 
and build a orbital station. I think that would be awesome. But be uh, great. after we figure out, I think that would help us a lot. There we go, down to a third of a G. Sky base, 30 kilometers. Hey, you have the um, jump drive on this still. Yeah, but we're not out of the atmosphere yet. Yeah. I was just saying, once we get out of atmosphere, you should be able to just jump to the base. Yeah, it's pretty close, actually. Once we actually get out of the atmosphere, we're only about 10 k's away, I think. Even less. Ah. Yeah, yeah it wasn't almost... really that far from where we first came up. No, we pretty much went straight up and found the first asteroid we could. Well, it was like the fifth, but yeah. Oh, okay. I thought we only visited one and found it had platinum and so stayed. No, there were like five of them, and oh, I was looking around, for the one yeah. that was kind of hollow. Okay, that makes sense. But this was the first one we actually did go into. Yeah. And it was full of platinum. We're like, yep, base, yep, ours. Point one five G's getting there. Or is it uh, 39,000 or is it 42,000 is the edge of the atmosphere? I don't know. I'm trying to uh, keep track of the height so that we can keep track of the, um, the total height when we go to build an orbital elevator. Yeah, I think it's about 42,000 we hit the edge of the gravity. But check it. Yeah, I'll try and keep track. Interesting reflections on the windows here. Are you seeing anything? like reflections uh, on the inside of the windows. Yeah. Lots of yellow. Lots of sun glare. Don't look at the light. Oh wow, look at the planet to the right of the sun though. Oh, I uh, just noticed the asteroid uh, that we almost hit. So close to us here. Ooh. And we're still in the gravity well. That's yeah. interesting. Be a good place for a base, I guess. Well, I was thinking we could build an elevator up to one of those. Yeah. I mean, we're pretty much in microgravity by the time you get here, 0 0.6G. Yeah, we're about to leave the gravity well, I would say. I think, I'm pretty sure it is 42,000, but uh, we're getting almost to the point now if you want to check it. Uh, I actually already lost the thing. Uh, oh, there it is. We're at 40,000. Or... Yeah, 40,000. 
42,000. And it's gone. 42,000 on the mark. 16 K yeah if you want I can uh, load up the cords and then we can jump okay I'll just hit the dampness to stop us Ready when you are. Okay, it should be set up if you want to go ahead and hit jump. Here we go. Fingers go fast. Oh, they brought the stretchy thing back. Ta -da. I like that. And the lag. Oh wow, it wasn't nearly as bad. I can't wait to see my baby. Is it me or does it look like the moon's got a giant chunk taken out of it? Yeah, it does. It's got a big, uh, big black sort of uh, streak across it for me. Huh. I see my baby. This is probably good. Um, if you want to jump out. A little late on the 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 uptake there, buddy. Yeah, everything looks pretty much as we left it. The Platinum looks really amazing uh, with the new graphics. So I reckon you can uh, replace those cannons with um, banks of reliable rocket launchers. Well, I, I kind of don't want to because I have rocket launchers on the front. But I have thought up an idea to kind of take the place of that. The... Um, I'm thinking maybe a player controlled turret, but I'm not sure. Well, my friend, I have to go and uh, probably we need to end the recording here if you want to say goodbye. Okay, I'll uh, I'll come out there and see everybody off properly. Do you have a good view of the moon? Ah, uh, the Earth or behind the, you. Uh, the planet. Looks very good. Alrighty. 
So do you uh, want to start us off, or do you want to? Uh, oh yeah. Have me do well, it? good night, everyone, uh, or good day, wherever you are. I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a nice evening. Remember to leave a like and a comment.